In here, we will be discussing about the 10 major steps of the diversification of life. So, the study of paleontology reveals a great deal about how life has achieved its present astonishing diversity. Some major event in the history of life may be identified, although these may be debated. So, that means there are some uh, particular adaptation events and 10 of these have been identified by some scientists. And these are the uh, different adaptive events that have defined the diversity of life on earth, but still these may be debatable because actual evidence is in the form of fossils or other records that we have and all of those records can have different interpretation in uh, terms of subjective knowledge of the scientist. So, uh, there are 10, namely 10 uh, adaptations that what they can be many more as we can discuss the different version of these in the later lectures as well. So, the first adaptation is the origin of life. So, first adaptation naturally was that when the life was formed. That was uh, the first biochemical model we have discussed this earlier in the, in the earlier topics. There were the complex organic molecules that were synthesized naturally in the Precambrian oceans. And the first living organism of which we have the fossil record was 3500 million years ago. And then there are the prokaryotic cells. They were small and lacking nuclei operating in the absence of oxygen and they caused one of the most significant changes in the history of planet. And they raised the oxygen level in the atmosphere as well. So not only the life was progressing itself, it was changing its environment as well. The second adaptation was the eukaryotes and the origin of sex. So first the origin of life that was in the form of bacteria, or before that the simpler uh, molecules, then there come the eukaryotes, as the name indicates, having two nuclei. In the marked contrast to the prokaryotes, eukaryotic cells uh, are usually large with the organelles and membrane bounded nuclei containing the chromosomes. And you see that they are, they developed the sex as well, origin of sex, that means there were male and female, when they both combined there was some variation. So development of variation resulted because uh, the variation gives rise to the raw material for the evolution. And then there is the third adaptation which is multicellularity. Multi means many and cellularity means the cell. So, the third adaptation is uh, making more than one cells in single organism. The cluster of eukaryotic cells organized into different tissue types and organs where different parts of the organisms are responsible for a particular function and tasks. So, this led to a much more advanced organism on the surface of earth. And the oldest multicellular eukaryotes reported from the rocks were 1200 million years old in Canada and these red algae were one of the nearly 20 eukaryotic lineages. So, some 400 million years later the true metazoan arrived. So, metazoan we have discussed these in detail. So, these are the ancestors of modern day animals. And then there is adaptation 4 which are the skeletons. Uh, during an interval of uh, a few million years in the earliest Cambrian, a variety of mineralized skeleton appears. These are seen spectacularly in the mid-Cambrian Burgess shell fauna. So, uh, the skeleton, the uh, very, the skeleton is responsible for protecting the environment for the harsh environmental and biotic factors. So, what are, what were those? Um, the advantage of such an adaptation was that they provided protection, support and area for the attachment of muscles. And what led to the uh, development of the um, skeleton? The predator pressure may have been main driving force behind the acquisition of hard parts. So, uh, when we were, uh, when the organism were developing, there were some predators who were feeding on them. So, uh, to protect themselves from them, they, uh, they produced some mineralized skeleton and that was the adaptation 4 and we will be discussing the rest of the adaptations in the next topic.